The first one, defense, just it's across sports, yeah. kind of just overvalued. People don't pay as much attention to it as they should. Um, with you, what what does that side of the ball mean to you? And then your initial reaction last year when you found out mm. you got a second team more defense. Yeah, I mean, it's important. I feel like, I mean, it's a really cliche term, but defense wins championships. I feel like we can score with the best of them. Um, but the thing that'll make us different this year and help us stand out even more would be our defense, I think. So for me personally, it's something I feel like I can bring to the team as far as energy level and being defensive and just being active on that end. And what was the other question? Just, I think you got it. Yeah. Oh, I guess your reaction to making second team more defense last Oh yeah, year. that was crazy. Um, <laughs> just coming in as a rookie and playing defense like that. I mean, you got people in this league that guard the best player every night and that wasn't necessarily my job. So to be, to not be on the best player every night, but to still get that, I mean, it's a testament to my team, really, because they really cover me a lot when I overhelp and different things like that. All right, um, this year, I know we've talked a little bit. You've been showing more of your offensive game this year, especially attacking off the bounce. Mm -hmm. Is that something just like a comfort level for you, too, or more of what Coach G is asking of you? Kind of what the coaches are asking of me in the sense that I can't set up for my jumper all the time, knowing that I got to keep people honest. So that's been a big thing, trying to find a way to get to the rim or find a kick out or just, I mean, add to my game, not be predictable, really. I, um, growing up, did you play multiple sports? Yeah, I mean, in middle school, well, as a kid, yeah, I played um, soccer. I tried to run track. I won't say I did. Yeah, that was, that was bad. Um, I played volleyball, and I was a dancer. Okay. Yeah. How do you feel those things? Just piggyback. How do you feel those things help, like, with sports? Just the, the other thing. Um, I mean, just as a kid. You get to be a kid. You get to go around, have fun, do things you don't really know how to do, but you try to figure out how to learn to do them. I mean... Just as a kid, it creates kind of the worldwide playground in a sense. All right. Um, what are some of the players you looked at in terms of looking at things from their game or players mm -hmm. you study that you incorporate into your own bit, female or male players? Um, I would say, I mean, with this being my second year in the league, of course I've been looking up to the players that are playing WNBA now. So a lot of it was Simone Augustus, Donna Tarasi, and Elena Beard, really. All, all for, with, with Elena? And Tamika Catches. And Tamika Catches. Course. Okay. Yeah. I was going to ask about Catch because someone in yeah. I read somewhere someone was, that's the first name that came to mind when looking at Trump yeah. in your rookie year. I mean, I love her as a player and as a person too. She's like amazing. I mean, um, but she's probably one of the best two-way players to ever play in this league. And so for me, that's just encouragement because that's something I want to do. I want to be able to be good on both ends of the floor. All right, with how much of Coach T's history did you know from like the personal st personnel standpoint, both uh -huh. with the NBA and WNBA? Um, you know, prior to you being drafted? Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know too much, but um, Coach Tina know, knew Coach T. So um, we talked about him a little bit once I got drafted because we didn't know right. how everything was going to happen. Uh, but I won't say I knew everything about him. I, I didn't know very much about him. I knew his name, but that was it, really. All right, now that you know a little bit more about him, yeah. Um, you know, he's had an eye for talent, both on the uh -huh. men's and women's side, going back to Jordan with the Bulls. Yeah. Has it registered to you that 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 guy with the eye for talent saw something yeah, in you? I, for sure. <laughs> I mean, when I got drafted seven, a lot of people were curious as yeah. to why. Um, and so for me, after talking to him and just getting to know him better, it's kind of a like this wasn't an accident. This isn't a joke. He doesn't just pick people out of the litter. You know, like right. he studied my game and different things like that. So for someone of that IQ to actually like the way that I play and understand that I can grow and get better, it's huge. Is it like a pressure or you just embrace, like it's, is um, it excitement? Yeah, it's pressure. <laughs> I mean, what's not pressure in this sport at this level? Um, but it's a fun pressure. It's a pressure that it's more of a not, you have to become this, it's more of a what will you become. So that feels good. All right, lastly, I don't know if you're a big gamer or not, mm -hmm. but just with, obviously, you guys already know it. Yeah. WBNN 2K20, right? Yeah. On purpose, instead of live, where they kind of get job dirty. Um, one, do you play or not really? I don't play it much. I wish I did. Okay. My little brother never let me play his game, so. All right, going with your yeah. little brother. What do you think it means, not only for your little brother, but yeah. girls coming up where, like, we grew up. We, it was NBA Live, NBA whatever, yeah. the whole time. From a woman's standpoint, they get the, the whole way I mean, up. yeah, it's pretty dope. I think just in the gaming industry, period, you have a lot of a lot of more women. Okay. Um, I don't know why she did that. It, but, it's um, all good. Yeah. Um, I feel like in the gaming industry, there are a lot of women that are enjoying it more. I mean, we got a gamer on our team, AP. She travels with the Xbox. Yeah. Like, you got stuff like that. I mean, 
and you got little girls that are also getting into coding and different things like that. So to actually put us in the game and recognize that, yeah, we play this game, like we can be gamers, we can be hoopers. Like, I mean, it's just adding to the generation that's really focused on showing women that they can be any and everything that they want to be.